Great Coasters International Explained Great Coasters International is a manufacturer of wooden roller coasters based in Pennsylvania, USA. For the sake of ease, the company is often referred to as GCI or even GCII corresponding to Great Coasters International Inc. As their name suggests, the company is a producer of Great Coasters claiming to construct some of the smoothest and highest quality wooden attractions in the industry. Over their relatively brief lifetime, GCI have gained a worldwide reputation. Prior to this, however, the company's founders, Claire Hayne and Michael Boodley, were already building some of the most well-known roller coasters in America. Before creating GCI, Hayne and Boodley were previously both employees at the now-defunct roller coaster manufacturer Custom Coasters International. Claire's involvement within the attraction industry began through contract work to aid in the installation of Phoenix at Knobles. During this, he discovered a great talent for track work. Shortly after, Hayne joined CCI and began the process of building wooden roller coasters. During the construction of Kingdom Coaster at Dutch Wonderland, he met Boodley, who at the time was trying to revolutionize the wooden coaster industry through implementing new and challenging ideas. It was at this point that the vision for GCI was formed. Unfortunately, this didn't happen instantly. While working on a new project, Hayne suffered severe injuries, hospitalizing him for a period of time. Upon the opening of Outlaw at Adventureland and the continued recovery of Claire Hayne, the pair left CCI to found their own company in 1994, Great Coasters International. Immediately, the duo reached out to Hershey Park. Two years later, they debuted their first project, Wildcat. At the time, the ride was almost revolutionary, including many twisted track elements that hadn't been seen on wooden roller coasters in decades. Wildcat featured many of GCI's now iconic elements, such as the twisted first drop, consistent speed, and a large number of crossover sections. Unlike the company's roller coasters of today, however, it didn't feature GCI built trains. Instead, Wildcat opened to the public running classic, box-like wooden roller coaster trains built by Philadelphia toboggan coasters. As Hain and Boodley continued to build new attractions, their skills and layout designs improved. Rides became snappier, more exciting, and more unique. 1999 saw the construction of Guazi at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay, the company's first twin-tracked dueling roller coaster. This was followed only a single year later by the opening of Lightning Racer at Hershey Park a second twin-tracked roller coaster. Upon its debut, GCI unveiled their newly developed articulating wooden roller coaster train design neatly dubbed Millennium Flyers. These trains were designed with comfort and reliability in mind. Millennium Flyers consist of singular two-seat cars, each of which features its own individual lap bar. Six to twelve cars are often chained together, creating the long GCI train. Since the introduction of Lightning Racer, Every new GCI roller coaster comes with Millennium Flyer trains as standard. The more modern train has also been retrofit onto the company's older rides, including Hayne and Boodley's first, Wildcat. GCI have also added trains onto roller coasters designed by other manufacturers, leading to the production of an all new train design, specifically for more family orientated attractions. In 2013, the company developed the Millennium Flyer train their classic Millennium Flyer train in junior form. These smaller trains have been specifically designed to be more accessible to both adults and children, allowing them to ride side by side more comfortably. Post the new millennium, GCI continued to improve their roller coaster design, offering longer, taller, and more exciting thrills. 2004 saw the debut of Thunderhead at Dollywood, the first roller coaster of its kind to feature a station fly through. During the layout, the trains hurtle through the station building, amazing the guests below. This element has been successful, now featuring in many of the roller coasters designed by the company. 2005 saw Michael Boodley retire from GCI, resulting in Jeff Pike being appointed as their lead designer. A year later, the firm constructed their first project outside of the US, Thunderbird at Power Park in Finland. Since then, the manufacturer has installed their attractions at various locations around the globe. 2007 resulted in the debut of Troy at Toverland, a ride widely regarded as one of Europe's best wooden coasters. This was followed by Apocalypse the Ride in 2009, Six Flags Magic Mountain's own GCI roller coaster, and even Wood Coaster in 2011, 
what was at the time China's tallest and fastest wooden coaster. Two years later, the company began the construction of White Lightning at Funspot America, their first hybrid attraction. Unlike the manufacturer's other rides, White Lightning features a steel support structure, reducing the required maintenance while maintaining the wooden coaster feel. On top of this, it became their first smaller scale roller coaster, which offers the unique experience of a GCI attraction in a more compact and affordable form. Since then, the company has gone on to create coasters such as Heidi the Ride, located at the small theme park Plopsaland Dupont. Most recently, the firm has been installing a large number of projects around the world. 2017 saw the construction of four new roller coasters, including two located in China, as well as Kings Island's Mystic Timbers and Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Finally, in 2018, GCI debuted Wicker Man, Alton Tower's newest large-scale edition and the first wooden roller coaster to be built in the UK in over 20 years. Wicker Man and many of the company's attractions carry the same characteristics. Most GCI rides consist of twister layouts with a multitude of bank turns, quick transitions and track interactions. Their designs tend to have a large number of bank drops and many small, quick airtime hills scattered throughout the experience. On top of this, towards the end of the ride, guests often traverse through the attraction's maintenance shed before re-entering the station building. The easily recognizable Millennium Flyer train is also a telltale sign of a GCI edition. Alongside the construction of roller coasters, the company offers its services to improve other wooden rides around the world. Since their formation, GCI have been maintaining, upgrading and even altering roller coasters to various degrees. This ranges from reprofiling various sections of track to the installation of Millennium Flyer trains and even structural improvements. These projects can often take place over several years as the attraction sees various parts of the ride experience improved. A well-known example of this general process took place on Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. The majority of the layout was retracked, while 40% of it saw profiling modifications to make the ride smoother, snappier and more interesting. The attraction also saw the introduction of GCI trains, further enhancing most aspects of the experience. Great Coasters International have performed upgrades to a huge number of roller coasters, helping to lengthen their lifespans while increasing comfort and rider satisfaction. Throughout their lifetime, GCI have consistently produced quality attractions. Their rides have helped to shift the wooden roller coaster market, resulting in the production of more versatile and well-rounded additions. Recently, to the surprise of many, the company has embraced the exciting developments made by other wooden roller coaster manufacturers. During the late 2018 Expo of the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, GCI unveiled a brand new train design as well as a new concept ride. The train, currently dubbed the Infinity Flyer, resembles the modern and open design found on many of today's steel roller coasters. Meanwhile, the new concept ride displays heavy integration between steel and wooden support structures and even demonstrates the use of inversions. Moving forwards, it's extremely likely that GCI will construct these new developments as many parks ask for more thrilling and exciting rides. Nevertheless, as they stand today, a Great Coasters International ride is often enjoyed by everyone for its fast-paced experience that is packed with moments of both airtime and laterals. On top of this, due to the cheaper price tag of wooden attractions and the relatively low maintenance compared to similar wooden rides, GCI roller coasters have become a great investment for many parks, both large and small. It's because of these factors and the company's ability to refurbish older rides that Great Coasters International have become one of the key leaders within the wooden roller coaster industry today. Thank you for watching and We'll see you all next time.